Hey, what's up, guys? It's Ryan Share here with PCDJ Karaoke. This is our standalone karaoke show hosting software designed for professional KJs and karaoke venues. Today, I'm going to demonstrate or touch on rather uh, a couple of the modes you have for the background music player. Now, the background music player in karaoke is basically a filly, filler music player or bumper music player. All depends on who you talk to, but they all do the same thing. Its goal and its design to automatically play music in between singers and sets. So when you stop the karaoke deck, in will fade the background music. When you stop the karaoke, or start the karaoke deck rather, the background music will fade out. Now the default mode for background music playback is to continuously play in the background. Meaning if you've got a list queued up, now a, a list is a case, or a background music case, in another video on our YouTube channel, which you can find in the Karaoke Guy playlist of video tutorials, demonstrates how to create and save various background music cases. So that's something you'd want to do ahead of time, obviously, before you can even mess with these settings, is create some background music cases or one. You want to keep background music cases about 300 tracks or less because they're essentially playlists. They're not designed to be like your entire inventory of music. Uh, so once you've you know, created your background music case and you're in the background music section, now, to access the background music section, if you don't already know, uh, in the latest iteration of Karaoke Eye and the latest public beta, it's now a note button down here. It's right to the right of the search box. So you click that to ac access the background music player section. Or in older iterations, it was just BGM for background music. So you click that button to access the player section. Now, as I said, the default mode here for background music is just going to continuously play through the playlist um, for however long the, the event is. So uh, it's not going to stop. It's not going to select different songs. It's just going to sit there and play through the playlist in order. So when you stop the karaoke deck and it fades back in, it can be anywhere. It can be on any track at any point in that track. A lot of people like it that way. However, we've added two options uh, that can change this, right? Um, that give you some some other options and one of them I prefer much more so than the continuous play So once you're in the background music player section to access the additional options for background music is to right-click on Background music with your mouse Go down to auto pause Okay by default these two things are going to be off Okay, they're going to be off and I'll just turn them off real quick so you see what this machine, oh, actually that'll be off by default if you uh, uh, disable it. So when you right click, go down to auto pause and you have the option to enable it. Okay, so when you enable auto pause, what it's gonna do is when it fades out, if it's just that that's enabled, I'll show you what I mean. So if you've just have enabled auto pause what it'll do is it'll when it fades out of the background music it's just going to pause that track at that very moment so that when the background music player fades back in it's going to pick up right where it left off so it'll just unpause it from that very point i'm not a big fan of that one either um, i guess it depends on how much background music time you're going to have like in between singers and sets on how you really want to utilize this uh, but my opinion, the best way to do it is to enable the auto pause so it does pause the track, but also pause and load next track. So what that's going to do when you enable that is when the background music player fades back in, it's always going to start on a new track. So instead of picking up where it left off, if, if it was just pause on load, or instead of continuous play in the background, which is if both of these options are unticked, it'll just continuously play. So if you enable this and also enable pause on load, it'll ensure that when the background music player comes back in, it's just going to play at the start of a new track every time. That way, too, when you are when you have it set to pause on load, it's using less, obviously, system resources. So if you're a guy that's got an older machine and maybe you're running into some uh, potential resource issues, it would be a good idea to use the pause on load option. Uh, and, and likely the option to start a new track upon pausing uh, instead of the continuous play. So hopefully that demonstrates uh, you know, some of the options you have for the background music player sufficiently. If not, please leave any questions you may have in the comment section below. Thanks.